Hey boys, how's it going? Uh, I've had a really busy weekend. I thought it would be busy and I knew I'd be tired. So I've created a compilation of what my weekend was like. Enjoy. I'm just off to my first stage gig of the weekend. Uh, I see I can look smart. Ooh. Uh, I'm still trying out some new material, so it's still really exciting for me. I've got to try and find all the little funny spots in the routines and whatnot, the bits that get a laugh. Um, I, actually, the, I'm running a little late, so I've got to cut this short, but I'll catch you guys after the gig. So, I guess that's one of these. Let's do the time warp again. Just finished the gig. I can't believe how light it is for such late in the day. Um, my voice is a little rasp. Um, feeling really good. I've really great. Really enjoyed it. Loads of energy. Feel feel really pumped up now. Even though I'm uh, feeling a little rasp. Really hungry, so I'm going to pop by Tesco, grab some food, and then straight to sleep because I'm going to be up again about four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning. Um, and you'll probably pick me up at around six o'clock. So uh, it's that time. Let's do the time warp again. Right, it's stupid o'clock in the morning. Um, I've got a four hour drive now to the English Riviera where I've got some gigs uh, over the weekend and I'll be staying overnight. So that's why I've brought my lovely wife to be, Jenny, with me. Say hi, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. You got anything to say? So this is what it's like to keep it real. Yeah, this is what it's like to keep it real. Uh, I'm really tired. Uh, the next shot will be of us at a service station, hopefully, but I'm too tired to do a time warp, so this is going to be a really abrupt cut to us at the service station. We're over halfway there now, and we've just stopped off at the services to get some Dr. Emmett Brown wick juice. Uh, and a stretch of our legs. Uh, Jen is the second only person to ever be on my vlog. How exciting! Uh, have you got anything to say, Jen? Um, it's not so stupid a clock now, uh, but Paul, can I have a cappuccino, please? Yes, you can. Thank you. Okay, so we need to go and get refreshments. So for you, that means it's time to let's do the time warp again. I've just arrived at a lovely B&B in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I'm a little low on time so I'm going to have to run now but I'll see you guys after the gig. Just got back from the gig and I wish I'd taken this camera with me because I've got some amazing feedback. I'm going to grab some food, I'm a little hungry, then get a nap before my last gig of the weekend and then I'm free! This is a bit of a pointless section really because as soon as I finish this sentence it's going to cut to right after my stage show. See? Just finished the stage show, absolutely rocked. The audience loved it, and each person that came up on stage and volunteered was perfect for that segment. They gave a lot of energy, so I gave a lot of energy back. You can probably hear it now. I'm a bit rasp in my voice, and I feel very tired, so I'm going to hit the B&B &B for some Zs. And tomorrow, Jen and I are going to do some sightseeing around the area, and right after this message, there'll be some videos of that day.
Monday, which means it's time for the Weird Weekly Question. This week's Weird Weekly Question was submitted by Mr. Stephen Ward. And the question is this, if an alien landed and wanted to see a classic piece of mind reading, what would you perform for it? Place your interesting, funny and stupid comments below me. So voyeurs, how would you get out of a speeding ticket? Paul Brooks, you can move your mind with a look. Paul Brooks, you can read the signs like a book. Just watch, you can see reality fair. Paul Brooks, is it all pretend? Oh yeah, and don't forget, keep it real.